How do you grow an email list using Techmatics? Well, you're going to need some kind of opt-in form and you can choose to share just an opt-in form on its own, like what you see here. That would be just the name and email address box, or you can embed a form like this on some kind of landing page as I've done here. So I've got two examples to show you. This one here is a form embedded into a web page. And here also is a Techmatics form embedded in a page as well, both of which are giving away access to a free thing in exchange for people's emails. So how do you make this? I'm going to show you right now. Inside your Techmatics account, you're basically going to need, first of all, to create that form itself. And you're going to do that by clicking on websites and funnels. Inside websites and funnels, you then have forms and you'll click on form builder. Create a form by pressing add a form. Now I do have templates in there, but I'm gonna show you a form starting from scratch. Once you go into this starting from scratch section, you have the option to basically drag and drop any items you want in your form by pressing the plus button on the top left-hand side. You'll see here, there's all of these fields that you can basically drag and drop over into your form area. Anything from collecting files that people can upload, signing signatures, um, you can add in images, you can add in these special captures so that bots and things can't mass sign up to your list. You can add in terms and condition checkboxes and so much more. But when we're doing a basic opt-in form to collect email addresses, I recommend you keep this as simple as possible to increase the opt-ins. I even go as far as removing the last name. I certainly remove the phone number because we wanna make the barrier to people joining our list as small as possible. Now I do want to make first name compulsory. The reason why is when we send emails to people, we want to at the very least personalize the email with their first name. So I'm going to click on the item that I want to work with. And over on the right hand side is your editing area. I'm going to select required. So that now has a star next to it and shows us this is a required field. You can also choose to have a consent box here to say that I consent to receive information from this person. You can customize that however you want, okay? To, um, I'm just gonna put receive comms. This is a pretend account, so I'm not gonna worry about spelling or anything. <laughs> and on the button, you can change that from saying button to get the free thing or whatever you want it to say. And you can change obviously the colors to your own branding hex code colors as well. Let's pretend I want mine to be blue in this particular instance. You also can choose to add in links to your terms of service or privacy policies here. Alternatively, if you don't want that, if it's, especially if it's embedded on a website, you might not need that because it will already be on the website anyway. Now that's basically it, that's our form. We can add a text element at the top of this because you don't actually need to create a whole web page for an opt-in. It can just be the form on its own independently. So if it's on its own independently, you will want a, you know, get Sarah's, I'm just gonna call it a free thing. But obviously this is where you're gonna put the title of whatever your free thing is. And of course you can edit, format the layout, um, change the font color, the font size, everything you want over here. We're gonna press save. Next thing we can do, make sure we title it. So this will be get Sarah's free thing. Always label stuff. And um, finally, let's press save. Always make a point of pressing save, save, save. This is a cloud web-based app. So you um, need to make sure you keep saving all the time. The final thing we're gonna do is decide what happens when somebody actually fills this form in. What kind of notification do they get? So on the top right-hand side, underneath the big save button, you have this little option called styles and options. Click on options again. And basically, do you want to either send them to an upsell page? If you do, you're gonna to go to send them to a URL and then just paste in the URL you want to send them to after they've pressed this you know, submit button. Is it an upsell? Is it another offer? Is it maybe a hidden web page that has the free thing on it? Maybe you've embedded some kind of webinar on a page. I don't know, there's a million things that you could send them to. Um, I actually just put a message and this is where you're just gonna put a message saying success. Um, I've now sent your free thing to your inbox. So I'll say something like check your inbox. It's usually what I write on mine. And I'll put something like if you haven't got your free thing in your inbox within five minutes, send an email to this address, right? And ask what's going on. Okay, I'm just gonna press save on that. Boom, this is done. How do we get the link for this? We press integrate, copy form link. And that's it. I can now go and share this link with the world. I always open this in another tab just to check it. And also because we might want to use this in a moment. So boom, I can now literally collect emails. What will happen now is I could share this with the world. I can even make it a pretty link by making it my domain instead of the kind of generic code 
URL that you'll get from Techmatics um, by using the Techmatics redirect. So I'll show you that in just a second. But basically, whenever somebody now submits this, they're going to be created as a contact in the system. But what we're going to want to do next is obviously create some kind of automation to send them an email to give them their free thing. Um, I do have that in another tutorial video. I won't be covering that today. Um, I'm just going to show you how to embed this in a page if you did want to embed this in a page. Because the question I've got today is how do we create a page with an opt-in on the page? So I did say you can make this a pretty link on its own if you didn't want to create a page. You really don't for something for free. So what I would do there is up in our um, websites and funnels that we're in, we have this option called URL redirects. Now Techmatics connects to your domains. So I'm going to press add a redirect. I'm going to choose the domain that I've connected to this pretend account. And the path here might be Sarah's free thing, for instance. Press add redirect. Oh, I've got to put a forward slash. There we go. Now I've confused it. <laughs> Target URL. Oh, it's where we're sending them to, which is that form there. Okay. And now I think I've gone way too fast for this bad boy. Let's try again. is because I've got a demo account here and this isn't actually an active domain um, but basically any domains that you've connected to your Techmatics account which the tech experts will do for you completely free of charge in your onboarding call when you first get your account created and um, all you're doing is choosing that domain that you want your link for your form to be on choose your slug or your path that you want to come off um, at the end and then your target URL is that big long link to your form page so now all I'd have to do instead of sending out that long form page link is I could say go to learn.techmatics.com forward slash Sarah's dash freebie and it will take you to the opt-in form now I'm going to press cancel on this because it's demo that's just a little sideline of how to make a link look pretty now the other question we got is how how do we embed a form in a page? Let me show you back in the form building area. If we press the clock, it's going to show us our most recent thing. So there's our free thing that we've just created. Getting the link is one way and sending people straight to this opt-in form to collect email addresses. We can embed this form in a page just like I showed you in my demonstration at the beginning here. That's an embedded form. Um, the other thing we can do is actually just create a button. So I don't think I actually have any of the a button example on this particular page. Um, but basically, we could just have a, you know, opt into my list, join my email community, get my free thingy. And that would hyperlink to that particular form page there. But I will show you now how you can add in this embedded form into a page if you'd rather it look like this than just a button. Inside Techmatics, you're going to go to your... Da, 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 da. Oh, first of all, your form. That's where we just were. And we're going to create, instead of the link, instead of getting the share link, we're actually going to collect what's called the embed code. So up on integrate, where we collected the form link before, now we're going to copy the embed code. You see there, it's now copied it to the clipboard. Done. One thing you might like to do is open your notebook and just copy and paste it somewhere else so you don't lose it in the next part we're going to do. But inside your websites and funnels, Go and choose a website page or a funnel page that you want to use. I'm just going to pick something completely random. Let's pick a beauty salon. And I'm going to, I don't know, I'm not even, I haven't even looked at these. I'm just going to pick a completely random funnel page for now. Let's press edit on this funnel page. And once this is loaded, we're going to have the opportunity to go in and edit this page however we want. So remember, we do not have to take this whole next step of creating a whole fancy page. We can just send people straight to our form um, just as easily as that. But here we go. We can go through here, edit everything, whatever you click on, you can edit over here in the right hand side. So if I wanted to change any of this text, I can just lit literally go, you know, to my house. <laughs> Do you want to take it to my house? If I want to change this image, I click on that. I click on the image and I can go in and upload whatever image I like, right? It's, I don't think there's any, there's a picture of me. Let's change it to a picture of me. Boom, done. Okay. See here how there's a button. If I wanted to make that button go to get my free thing, we click on the button and where we scroll down here, we can change the text to get my free thing. And all we would need to do is here under website URL, go back and get the link to our form and we can paste that link there in the website URL, meaning when they click that link, it will take them to our form. Now, the other thing we can do is we can actually press add an element. If we wanted our form, for instance, to show 
where do we want our form to go? I'm just going to stick it right at the top here, okay, just to show you for demonstration. Let's press add an element and we're going to be adding an embed code, okay? So to add an embed code, we're going to drag and drop the code option and drop it in here. Click on the thing we want to edit, open the code editor and paste in the code that we just got from the form. Give it a little second, press save. Uh, it's going to ask us if we want to update our SEO. I'm going to close that for the moment. Now we've saved it. We can press preview and I'll show you. Da, 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 da. There is the Get Sarah's Free Thing form embedded on the page. How good is that? If you need any help at all, you can go to the Techmatics website and you can either um, book a call with one of our consultants. So you press book a call over here. Um, you can actually scroll down and get support by hiring a tech expert for an hour and they can actually help you build your page. Um, it's only $50 for you to basically get any help that you want. Absolute bargain. Alternatively, when you are logged into your account on the bottom right hand corner down here, you can go to the question mark to uh, go and look through our step by step guides or press the chat box here and this will start a live chat with one of our real life on shift cool human beings, which is amazing. So that my friends is how you create a form to collect email addresses and grow your list in Techmatics and the different ways that you can use that form either as an independent pop-up or as a button hyperlink or as an embedded form on a web page to grow your list. Need any help? Contact support at techmatics.com. Happy teching!